Hello my friends, uh, let's open this small uh, compressor and see what packed up inside. So I will, um, let me just get my screwdriver, I will start and open it and then bring you back when it, uh, I take the last screw out. Okay, let us see if it is easy normally. Sometimes it's very difficult to get stuff out, but it seems if this one goes nice, there's the screw. Okay, I'll bring you back with the last one. Okay, there goes the last screw. And let's see if it opens easy. I hope so. There's five screws. Okay, there's, it's out, and let's see if it will split. It seems if the back side come off, come off. Okay, yeah, yeah, here is a lot of shavings, metal particles, so definitely there was a problem. Let's take this away. Okay, so there is the piston. It seems if the piston, but it, it's loose. It's like a small engine. That's really cool. But let's see what fail. It must be. Uh, something Let's see what is this maybe it fits there I'll see but where is the motor gear there on top okay I think what I must do is put power on and we can see what happened Okay guys, this is now very interesting for me. Uh, we will run it now. I just want to check. There's a fairly big play on this crown wheel, can you say? And uh, it seems, if, well, it's full of particles, metal particles. So I want to spray a little bit of the WD-40 in the piston area. Just as a loop. Maybe we can still fix it. Fix it. Let's put there inside as well. Okay, now we can give it a little bit of power and see what is what's going on. Okay, let me get my leads. Okay, guys, I'm going to hold you here, and here's my lead. If I touch it now to the positive of the battery. It will run, or supposed to run. Now it's running again. I wonder if it might run dry or something. Because everything is a little bit sloppy, but I am not sure. Where comes the shavings from? This is plastic, seems to seem so. And the top gear might be as well. I can see it might be copper or brass. I can try a magnet. Let me just try a magnet and see if it's maybe steel. No guys, it's all plastic, I believe. That one is a little bit difficult, but uh, I can feel there's no there's no magnetation, although there it will stick to and there. Okay, let's run it a little bit more and check it from this side. Now strange. 
it made a, a noise and then the machine you can only hear the engine run the, the electric motor so I think I think I must put it back together and see if it will pump maybe it was uh, full of uh, dirt and it was sticky a little bit maybe okay let me think a little bit okay guys I put it back together and um, I'm going to to hold my finger there and let's run it and see if it built, built pressure I think uh, it seems a bit work I'm going to see if I can uh, block it better because uh, I can't press it hard enough it go only to up until about 4 kilogram per square centimeter so let me see if I can block it quickly ok guys let's try this trick guys um, it leave me now with a question will it work it seems so but it uh, it's bothering that there's now shavings on the piston and sleeve although I clean it uh, with WD-40 from the outside I think I must open it and see if we can strip it totally and clean the whole compressor and then I'll give it another try and uh, before I dismantle it as an electric starter for the small engine ok guys let's go ahead and remove the head part can you say Close. Okay. I think it's loose. Okay, there's the piston and the sleeve. I'll show you now. Let's see if we can take the crankshaft off. Oh, yes. There's a piston and crankshaft, ach, a conrod, and the crank is only with a shirt clip there. I will take that off now so that we can see what is if there's a bush that is not nice. Okay, let me just get the screwdriver. Okay, guys, I've got it off, but the bad luck is. That third lip jump uh, against myself and now it's gone. So I have to, to look for it with a, with a magnet. Okay, let's just keep track on what is going on here. Okay. 
Okay, there can we see the problem. I think it's not supposed to be that oval. Okay, the this side is on the out so motor side. It doesn't look bad from this side, but from that side, not good. Unless I can turn the whole thing 90 degrees, so that the forces is in that in that direction again. And the next time, so let me check it quickly out. Okay, as you can see here, at my finger side, this side, it is fairly still good, but look there. This is where the problem is, I think. But in any case, here it is. So it's it like this. And it work itself out like that. Okay, so either it need a new bush, but let's inspect the 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 sleeve first. Is it a reed valve? Let me just check it out myself, then I can explain to you what I see. Okay guys, how it works? When the piston go down, it sucks air in here, from this side, sucks air in, and then all the air sit now here when the piston is at the bottom and when it go up that reed valve let me just make sure it focus sorry guys I'm wasting your time the reed valve there close it's not difficult to, to show there's a reed valve, it's, it close, and on that side what you see there, it's a spring, it's a ball with a spring at the back, and it push the air through here out to the tire, and when it suck air, the ball close that hole there. There you can see the reed valve and the ball valve on the left side. But it's fairly dirty. Okay, let's inspect the piston as well. Okay, here is the piston. Doesn't look too good. So guys, I think it's shot. What did you say or think? Okay guys, there is a nice picture of, of the piston and the ring. This is a sort of a ring. And it seems to me if it is not steel, you can see it can bend. So this is a nice uh, seal that, that they have there. And then I see there some scarving marks. I'm not sure if this is part of the machine with the play that was created. Okay guys, I think, tell me what you think we must do. If it is worth, put a new sleeve in. Uh, because this, this pump is very cheap. Not even 200 Rand for a new one. 200, 300 Rand. And uh, this machine will make a perfect starter for the little engine 
So I think this is the way to go. Let me think what you think, guys, before I take any decision further. Guys, my camera uh, died or switched off two times on me. I delete quickly a couple of files. Just quickly, do you suggest try to repair it, which is not um, very uh, sensible for me, or use the motor for other applications like a starter? Drop in your, in your comment what you think, guys. And uh, you've seen the damage here on the on the uh, bush there. And uh, as I mentioned, it is a cheap thing. It's not expensive to buy. Okay, see you on the next one, guys. And I hear from you. Bye-bye.